Hey guys, hope you all having an amazing day so far. Welcome to another episode of JJD Type Buckle. We are covering the 14 traits of military leadership. And today we get to very excitingly talk to you about number 10, man. You know, we are already at number 10, only four more to go. We've been talking about the 14 traits of military leadership, the traits that make people in leadership position very desired for those positions because of the traits that they possess, their abilities to lead men and women in the case of the military into war in an effective way because they can muster all 14 of these traits and implement them in a very uh, extraordinary way. And so we're talking about number one, what they are, number two, how they apply in the military, and number three, how can they transfer to the civilian world where you might become a leader in business. You might have your own business or work for a company and having these 14 traits will set you apart from everybody else to the point where you can get to be one of those desirable leaders that everybody wants to have around. Guys, we've talked about justice in the very first J of JJD Taiboko, what it means having uh, being a just person, being fair to others, having judgment, the, the ability to have good judgment, weigh situations up and understand how they affect not only the, yourself, but also others, being a dependable leader, having dependability, or oh, it just means that people can count on you, having initiative, we've talked about that. We've talked about having decisiveness, the ability to decide things in a effective way, quickly and timelessly. And we talked about tact and how important it is so that you could talk to people in a way that make them like you a little bit more. Having the integrity, number one, to yourself, and that way you can also bring value to the organization. We've talked about enthusiasm yesterday, and we did a double feature where we also talked about bearing and what it means. Enthusiasm being the ability of you having a positive outlook, a can-do attitude that draws other people to you and to the plans that you have. And having bearing, meaning the way that you conduct yourself, the appearance you have, the posture you carry. Uh, when it comes to you being in a leadership position and how those two being enthusiastic and having bearing can allow you to create amazing results just like the example that i shared yesterday today however we get to talk about number 10 unselfishness and unselfishness means putting the needs of others first lao tzu said that one who is skillful in using men puts himself below them this is called the virtue of non-competing this is called the strength to use men this is called matching haven the highest principle of old guys this is such a very a deep quote from lao tzu because it tells you that the best ability that you could have is the ability to use men and the only way to do that is by putting yourself below them putting yourself at their service not putting them at your service you see how that crazy that when we talked about leadership uh, most people think if i'm a leader people need to serve me when in fact it's the total opposite when you are in a leadership position you are the one that is serving others and you having the ability to put yourself below other people and put yourself at their service will allow you to also create this camaraderie and uh, camaraderie and also this trust that people will develop for you because you being an unselfish person look on selfishness uh, it means you making decisions right going back to the uh, making decisions that are going to be for the betterment of the organization the team and not just for yourself i've met a lot of people that in one way or another may or may not be unselfish uh, but whenever they make calls and decisions you get to realize that a lot of the decisions that they make they are not unselfish they are doing them in a very selfish way and what it does is it just attracts more selfishness because everybody's going out there to fend up for themselves not really caring about the other guy or other gal and oh it just doesn't work out it's a very nasty environment to be part of when everybody's just gunning for themselves and basically saying it's me screw everybody else 
such a terrible place to be. Being unselfish is the complete opposite. It's you having the ability to look at the situation and say, if I make this decision, I will. How would this decision be made if, for example, there was no benefit to me? That's one of the things you want to do when you become an unselfish leader. You get to filter every decision that you make by that question. If this had nothing to do with me or if this wouldn't benefit me in any way, shape or form, what kind of call would I make? And uh, very few people seldom the times that I've seen this where people think that way about the decisions that they make in their organizations because there's always uh, a monetary gain. There's always some kind of recognition. There's always something that pushes people to make whatever decision they're trying to make based on what they want not what's best for everybody else so when you develop this ability of being unselfish and putting yourself below others putting your team your organization the peers you have the subordinates that you have above you and in front of you and you choose and you make decisions based on what will be best for them not necessarily best for you you get to become not only a very attractive leader you get to become a trustworthy leader a leader and we're going to be talking about uh that word trustworthiness coming up soon but it just makes you a very unique person and people want to talk to you they want to work with you they don't trust you to make the right call always and if you develop this reputation of becoming the leader that it's always unselfish it's always putting others first it's always taking action towards the betterment of the team then anywhere you go people will want to work with you they'll invite you they'll pay you thousands if not millions of dollars to be the kind of person that leads their organizations this is how most of these very high level speakers that you get to hear about that become very famous um develop their skill to speak because they're gaining knowledge they're gaining understanding they're working on themselves not for themselves but for the people that they could impact by the things that they are learning just an amazing place to be being an unselfish leader it's, it's an amazing quality it will set you apart from everybody else you demonstrate a lot of emotional intelligence by the way when you become an unselfish person because you get to understand that the other person is going through a situation just like you are and sometimes their situation might be a little bit worse than yours but because you don't know the details you gotta always assume that it is and you have to make sure that you choose to the betterment of them rather than yourself this is unselfishness guys this is the tenth trait of military leadership we are only four more to go before we do the big 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 one where we get to cover all 14 of them at once we have some people jump on the screen and maybe share their experience their knowledge how some of these 14 trades have helped them in their military careers or their civilian careers and how they engage and implement these things on a day-to-day -to, -day to become the leaders of their organizations i hope you guys learned something i hope you enjoyed the the whole you know meeting the whole zoom or telegram or whatever this thing is a podcast right i guess we'll call it a podcast uh series um i hope that you guys are learning a lot i hope that you guys get to share with others what you're learning but more importantly than that i hope that you take this information and you use it to become one of the greatest leaders your organization has ever seen have a good one guys and we'll see you guys tomorrow for number 11 courage that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow being a courageous type of leader and we're gonna get right into what it is same channel come here stay tuned guys if you guys like what you're hearing maybe you hate my voice but love the content drop a like follow the channel share it with others it really helps us get the message out there you know, i don't really care too much about the subscriptions or whatever they call it here on the algorithm but i definitely want this content to reach other people so that they can use it to better their lives this is jamil thanks you for watching guys we'll see you guys in the next one